Hey YouTube, it's Manny, and we're back at it. Another PC um, video. All right, this one we're gonna sm slight little mod. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, the default LGA seventeen hundred bracket that holds the CPU in, and replace that with the thermal right. Uh, this is their L uh, ILM bending correct frame, right? So basically, it's a frame that uh, a bracket that covers it completely and does a better job uh, with the thermals for it. Now. I learned about this from a Gamer Nexus video, which I'm going to put in the link in the description below so I don't get copyright and stricken for using some things. Um, I want to show you real quick, like, um, to see more, watch the video, but for all intents and purposes, this is the default LGA uh, 1700 thermal image that you get. This is the, per the thermal profile, and you can clearly see, like, it's not being completely covered. Uh, you have the dark area, which isn't being, uh, which isn't drawing the heat. And then, once you replace it with a thermal right, You'll see this image, which shows a better coverage. The very center is not, um, you know, not great thermal coverage there. It's darker, but the rest of it, you can clearly see it's pulling the heat more evenly around it. So that's what we're going to do. I am in a basement um, in the summer. I don't have air conditioning down here yet. Uh, we may do something this summer. It depends on how hot it gets. But my basement tends to get a, uh, fairly hot, especially with the PC running. Anything we could do to um, help with thermals is what we're going to do. So first thing we're going to do is unbox this. Then we're going to um, go through the install of it. It's a little tricky to install. Um, well, not tricky per se, but you've got to be careful with it, so we'll go through that. Um, all right, on to the video. All right, guys, this is going to be a super quick unboxing. There's really not much to it. Uh, it just comes in kind of this little brown box. Uh, it has our certificate of authenticity tag on it. I actually don't know really if that's, I mean, what's authentic about it, right? Scratch to check, I'm not gonna scratch it. I'm gonna assume it's authentic. Uh, I have B's on the corner, I don't know if that's the box size or whatever, but uh, it's LGA 1700B CF Black, all right? So we open it up inside, you got a few things. It comes with some thermal paste and a uh, wrench, uh, a screwdriver that you wanna use. The reason you wanna use this, uh, we'll, I'll show you afterwards. Um, it is L-shaped. And this is going to help you make the turn, so you know how far you've turned it. You know you make quarter. You're going to make. We're going to make quarter turns, not half turns and not full turns. We're going to do quarter turns. So that's how we know. It's actually not a screwdriver. It's a. It's a star driver actually. It has both sides. Then you actually have the bracket itself. In here. So you see, it's a. I got the black one. Uh, LGA seventeen hundred. It's the back side of it. Machined, machined aluminum or something. I don't know. Um, and then in here we have. It's obviously from um, Asia. Not exactly sure which which writing this is, but basically shows you how to install it. Um, very, you know, very minimal instructions. But I'm going to follow the Gamer Nexus instructions, and that's how we're going to install it. All right, guys, that's it. So we're going to install. Uh, oh, by the way, I am not using um, the thermal paste that came with it. I actually went and bought um, the stuff I've been using for years, Arctic Silver 5. Um, I don't know what you guys use. This is my preferred stuff. This is pretty old. Uh, well, this I've just bought this one, but um, I don't know. There's probably ones with better thermals. I just like how this one spreads. It feels good. Like I don't have to put it on real thick, and uh, that's what we're going to go with. I'm not going to use their thermal paste, okay? All right. Let's install it. All right, guys. We got um, CPU removed. It's cleaned up. Everything's done there. So now we just got to remove the bracket. Now, one thing I do want to say, guys, whenever you take the uh, heat sink off the CPU, make sure you run the computer um, for a little bit, like a few minutes, to heat up the thermal paste. Because I've done that plenty of times before where you take it off and you basically can rip the CPU. Not in this bracket, but like an uh, AM4 or something like that. You can literally rip the uh, CPU out of the socket uh, if you're not careful. Uh, too much pressure. So just make sure you heat it uh, Run it for a little bit so it's heated up and then you don't have any problems. Now, I'm actually going to um, use... The included um, star key for this because it's the exact same. Um, it's the exact same uh, one for the uh, that's on the. They're not in there. They're not on tremendously tight, so that's good news. My hands are in the way. That's all right. Just unscrewing for now. One side, take off the other side, and they're out. All right. 
that's that. We're going to use the same screws to put it back in because the um, thermal right did not come with screws, so we're going to use the exact same screws. All right, we got the old bracket out. Now we're ready to put the new one in. So uh, what we're going to do first things first is put our CPU back in. Make sure you put it in the right direction with the arrow facing the right way. And mine goes down like this. And then um, same thing with this bracket. We have the arrow, basically. You want to make sure you put it in the right direction. It faces that way. All right, now there is a bracket in the back um, and it can fall down a little bit. So you gotta be careful. You might have to put your hand underneath the CPU, uh, the, the, the motherboard to make sure it's upright. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our screws into the holes for now. And then I may have to put a hand under my, I may have to raise this up a little bit to uh, get it to sit right. All right, now first things first, we're gonna discuss this. So the reason I like using this is we, um, per the Gamer Nexus uh, video, you wanna do quarter turns and you can use this to judge when you're, you're turning a quarter. So for example, this, right? That's a quarter turn, that's a half turn, that's a full turn, right? So 360 all the way around, right? We wanna do a quarter turn which is essentially 90 degrees, right? So that's 180, we just wanna do 90 degrees. If I'm here, 90 degrees, right? So just, just judge it. It's not perfect, but just judge it. So uh, the first thing you wanna do is step these off a little bit to make sure they seat right. So how you do that is you put the first one in and you go counterclockwise because that's the direction uh, loosening and you're supposed to hear a click. But I think what's happening with mine is I don't think the bottom is, the, uh, there it is. So if I hold it up like I got my left hand underneath the motherboard. Now we're gonna turn this this way. And you hear a little click. Then we do a quarter turn. Same thing, we go diagonal, crisscross this one. We go counterclockwise first. Make sure I got my hand under there far enough to have that bracket up. There we go. And then, once they're set, I think we'll be good, but like for now I have to, yep, I heard a click. We'll go one more click. Then quarter turn. Then we'll go over here, same thing. There it is. That click means it's seated. So we'll do quarter turn. Then we'll do it down here, this last one. There's a click. And we do a quarter turn. Now we go back to our first one and we do, we're not unscrewing it anymore. We're just gonna do a quarter turn. Go to this diagonal, quarter turn, cross here, quarter turn, cross here, quarter turn. Now we're gonna keep doing that until we have a little bit of um, quarter turn, until we feel a little resistance. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. And once we feel a little resistance, we're gonna go down to an eighth of a turn. All right. Little turn, right? Because I'm feeling resistance now on that one. All right. So I actually have to grab the top, unfortunately, you may not see as much. A little eighth of a turn. Still not. I can actually put this, oh shoot. I'm gonna put this down now. Oh. So actually, you can see, I was holding the, the whole case up, digging into my hand. All right, so. These two are, are already got, these two, this one and this one already have a little tightness. These two are not quite as tight. I'm gonna give them a little bit until we get, like I wanna make sure that we don't all right, that one's nice and tight. All right, they're all they're all roughly the same tightness now. So now we're gonna start doing instead of instead of uh, um, quarter turn, we're gonna do an eighth of a turn, right? So just uh, what if this is ninety? This is forty-five degrees. That's all we're gonna be doing. So just a little. Whoop. 
And we're gonna do this much until we feel um, complete resistance. Like a hard, a hard wall is what it was referred to as, right? That one's a little harder to see for you guys, but it's just a quarter turn all the way around, uh, an eighth of a turn, right? Until we hit a hard wall. And we don't want to force it past that hard wall. So this does take a little while, but the idea is we want we want the bracket to go down evenly all the way around. We don't want to have it like cantered or angled or anything like that and put pressure on one side versus the other. We want it all the way down. As uh, they said on Gamer Nexus, ideally you'd have four screws and just screw it down simultaneously all together, but that's not possible uh, given what we have. So. You're just about hitting a hard wall. Right, that one hit the hard wall. That one's just about the hard wall. That's the hard wall. That's the hard wall. That's the hard wall. So this is completely screwed down. What I'm gonna do now, um, so I hit that hard wall. There's two, there's two walls, right? There's a little resistance. Once you hit a little resistance, we go from quarter turns to eighth of a turn. So 90 degrees to 45 degree turns, right? We go from, we go from 90. Once you start feeling that pressure, you go to 45s, right? So you got the 90 degrees and you got the 45. It's not rocket science, do the best you can. And uh, so, and then once you hit that hard wall, you stop. All right, and the hard wall is basically you feel the resistance like, you know, you're doing it like like finger tight like this, and then you know if you want to you grab a good hand and turn it hard if you want to. Don't do that. Just once you feel that it stops it no more, then you're good. That's the hard wall. All right, I'm gonna butter it up. I'm gonna uh, put the heatsink back on. We'll mount it. And we'll see what our uh, thermals look like. All right, guys, be back in a minute. All right, guys, just to get a, a little bit closer look at it. Um, that's what it looks like installed. Looks pretty even, looks good. Um, doesn't look like I messed too much up. It's in there pretty, it's not shaky, not rattly. I didn't, I don't believe I over tightened it, but we'll find out anyway, right? All right guys, now for what you're probably really interested in, and this is actually the before and after, running Time Spy Extreme from 3D Mark um, to get my score. So you can see the scores really haven't changed that much, so it hasn't really improved performance. However, if you do look at the temperatures, you can notice on the left-hand side the CPU package, which is the hottest point on the uh, CPU from what they say, it goes up, peaks at 98 degrees. After I installed the thermal right bracket, you can see it peaked at uh, 93 was the maximum, which is really nice. That's five degrees less, and that's obviously going to be a little better because hypothetically, if you want to overclock this, you can actually do a little bit. There's a little little leeway right there, right? Because this is, um, I believe this CPU is good up to about 100 degrees uh, Celsius, all right? So that's where it's at. Um, so that's important. Like I said, I didn't see any improvements in um, in the scores themselves. Didn't really expect much. I mean, yeah, it went up by 200 points in the CPU score, but my graphics score went down a little bit. That can just happen here and there. It's um, not that big of a deal. The overall score you can see is like a five point difference. So that's it, guys. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, starting around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.